Hi, I'm Shane. This is Julie. We're just going to do a quick, uh, this is going to be a really quick video on, on using a pendulum. Um, and I'll hand over now to Julie and she can, she can elaborate more on that. So using a pendulum is about giving you a visual of the energy that's running through you. Now this is not about the tool, this is not about the external, this is not about the universe. You're the universe, you're the innate intelligence that's just impacting this and giving you a visual. So this is a tool for getting you on your journey to just feeling yourself and then learning how to trust yourself, the gut instinct that you've got, the innate intelligence. So for me, it's a simple, I just hang the pendulum in front of me and I say, show me a yes. And the pendulum starts to move into a clockwise circle and I say, okay, show me a no. And the pendulum starts to swing in an anti-clockwise circle. In my body, there's a slight forward motion when there's a yes, and there's a slight back motion when there's a no. And for me, it's different because for me, I, I work more with what I call a live pendulum. I set it swinging, and then for me, the yes is 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 swinging to and away from me, and a no is swinging crosswise in front of me. So I can demonstrate this with the seed of a jicama yam, um, and I can I can simply ask, is it beneficial for me to eat this? No, it's saying, and, and it looks such a beautiful bean when it's green and like nice dried seed when it's ripe, but yeah, it's telling me not to eat it. And then I can ask a question about the yam that comes off this plant. Is the yam off this plant edible? And it's straight away saying yes, absolutely. Over to you, Jill. So recently we got the opportunity to do some pretty um, open wound healing, deep open wound healing, and growing around the property at the moment there's um, a lot of this narrow leaf plantain uh, or ribwort. And so in one of my wee books I have a look and it said, yeah, it's for wound healing. But, you know, it doesn't give you a lot of other information. So I'm like, okay, how do I use it? So I took my pendulum and I said, can I eat it? Yes. And then I said, can I put it directly on an open wound? Yes. Okay, so do I make a tea out of it and wash it over the open wound? Yes. So I just went through all these questions like, how do I know to use something to treat an open wound? And those are the answers that I got. So I took it and I made teas. I let it cool. I washed the open wound with this tea. And it, it, it almost instantly changed the state of the wound. Um, and there's other ones that are around the property. I didn't know what they were. Um, it's called wound wart. I've learned since and it's growing everywhere and it's bright green and I'm aware of it. I'm like, okay, it's really obvious. It's standing out in the landscape. So I took my pendulum. Is that, is this plant with the little purple flowers, the bright green leaves, is this good for open wounds? Yes. I'm like, okay. And then I went through my questions again and I used that in the initial wound healing as well. No idea what it was, but then luckily for Facebook, it came up on a weed group that I'm in. What is this? It's wound wart. Brilliant. And the wound wart, interestingly, is growing on some of our most degraded country on this farm. And now I've got another one here, which is prickly lettuce. Um, and we do a lot of, we do a lot of what I call feral foraging. So rather than, than running a, an intensive vegetable garden, we do a lot of harvesting of weeds and, and eating of weeds. We've got a couple of really good weed books that give us some guidance, but, but often you come across things that you're not too sure of, and you can just do the simple test, test that I did with the jicama yam seed. I can ask, is this beneficial for me to eat this? And straight away it's just saying yes, absolutely. And then this little violet, is another beautiful little um, plant that's growing in abundance on the property at the moment and so I checked this for wound healing and I said is this for wound healing and it got me a yes the violet is for wound healing um, and so the next question is, is is it best to eat it and it's come back to a no so the wound healing, yes, and I never actually got around to using this one because the other weeds were doing so well, but it's not for eating. So that little one 
is here for a reason, I just haven't figured out quite what yet. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Bye-bye. <laughs>